KUCI started as a pirate radio station. Because even back then, there were people sick of commercial radio. There are currently no independently owned commercial radio stations in the greater Los Angeles area. This is the reason that if you call up a commercial station and request a song, you won't hear it if it's not the flavor of the week. Public affairs shows are not immune to this either. There are almost no people who are willing to express a non-politically correct opinion because they are deathly afraid of losing sponsorship. My name is Kevin Stockdale. I'm the broadcast media coordinator at KUCI. I am the staff position who is kind of in charge of the fundraising and the uh, making sure that KUCI stays in compliance with FCC rules and regulations, UCI policies and procedures, and kind of just is basically in charge of looking out for the best interest of KUCI in the long run. We are the last bastion against crappy, sounding like radio in Orange County. We are the voice of freedom for all the independent music that gets snubbed by the major labels. For me, it's been an opportunity to learn and to grow and to you know, enjoy music and to uh, learn how to broadcast, learn how to do production, learn how to manage and then when I graduated I was fortunate enough to become the, the paid staff advisor so my, you know, it means a lot to me because it turned out to be a career not just a, not just a volunteer thing as a student uh, but I think it means a lot to me just because I know how much it's meant to people over the years and how much I think it will mean to people down the, the road, the experience people can have coming in here and the, the more you you want to learn and grow, the more things you can take, uh, you know, take advantage of here, the more you get out of it. So I think it means a lot to me just because I know it means a lot to other people as well. We are Corporate Rock's worst nightmare. We are KUCI. What does the station mean to you? Um, I love that KUCI is an alternative radio station. Um, it's unique to not only just Orange County, but to radio in general. We don't play things that are on mainstream. We give the underdog of, uh, of artists, I guess, a chance to be on the radio and, and a chance to be exposed and, and get the music out there. So um, it's, it's, it's a great experience and just um, meeting all these new people and getting introduced to new music. And it's a great thing to be a part of. KUCI has produced non-commercial talk and music programs that expand the universe for its listeners introducing artists and thinkers before their work hits the national and international spotlight. Today, every sound organized in time, political right, middle and left, classical music, punk, reggae, world, experimental, indie, goth, jazz, rock, and folk is heard regularly on KUCI programs. Mike Caspar, the general manager at KUCI, has been quoted in the new university as saying, quote, now that Indy 1031 has gone away, we've been approached by a lot of different clubs and bands. We've been doing what we've been doing for 40 years. Without us, there'll be a lot less opportunity for new music. We want to be playing stuff that hasn't been heard before." End quote. How does the current economic crisis affect you as a DJ? Well, back when I started with KUCI in spring 2008, it was free for DJs to have their own show, but now with the way the economy is looking, we need to support ourselves by each, every DJ is asked to give a $25 donation. So we're doing our part and we're trying to get the community to give us more support. The LC Weekly also quoted, God bless college radio. Without it, we'd be stuck in the morass of top 40 tyranny, slaves to the electronic DJ program by corporate suits halfway across the country. And God bless KUCI for being one of the more interesting college radio stations in the country. Boasting an eclectic programming schedule, KUCI will satisfy your Jones for talk and music with long-running programs such as Dan Sang's Subversity and Marie Frank's Privacy Piracy, butting up against a frequently alternating schedule of student program music shows. No one knows good music like a college student. Why, pretty much all of UC Irvine students do is write papers, drink beer, and illegally download MP3s, so you know you can trust them." End quote. 